iPad Pro 2020 versus Surface Pro 7. So which should I buy? I think many people have this question if they are looking to buy one of these. First of all, have a look at this table that shows the differences. Dot you can get a small idea from this. On the back, is a large Apple logo and a new camera module that houses dual lenses and a litter sensor. You'll find dual speaker grills on the top and bottom of the slate along with volume controls on the top right side. The Surface Pro 7 is a slick slate. It has a magnesium alloy material and a Chrome Microsoft logo on the rear kickstand. Yes, the Surface Pro 7 is thicker, at 0.3 inches, and heavier, at 1.7 pounds, than the iPad Pro 0.2 inches, 1 pound, but it wins some of those points back in the next section. The Surface Pro 7 is also a nice-looking tablet but it could use some updates. For one, the tablet still has thick bezels surrounding its display, which takes away from an otherwise stunning panel. And as much as I like that the Surface Pro 7 has a built-in kickstand, I hope Microsoft finds a more stable solution in future versions. The iPad Pro, which has a single USB Type-C on the bottom edge for charging. No earphone jack, no other ports. With the Surface Pro 7, you get a USB 3.1 Type-A port and magnetic Surface Connect port next to the USB Type-C input on the right side. On the left side is a headphone jack while a micro SD card slot hides behind the Surface Pro 7's kickstand. I'd go with the iPad Pro's display, as it's larger, brighter, and more vivid. If we compare screen resolution, the Surface Pro 7 and iPad Pro are in a virtual tie. The 12.9-inch iPad Pro display has a 2732x2048 resolution for a pixels per inch PPI density of 264 whereas the Surface Pro 7's 12.3-inch 2736x1824 pixel panel has a 267 PPI. According to our colorimeter, the iPad Pro's display reaches a blinding 559 nits of brightness, making it more radiant than the Surface Pro 7's 395 nit panel. As it stands, the Surface Pro 7 has the best detachable keyboard on the market, whereas the smart keyboard for the iPad Pro is uncomfortable and overpriced. LL start with Microsoft's excellent type cover keyboard. For me, it's a must-have accessory for any Surface tablet. I wish it was included with your Surface Pro purchase, but $130 is a reasonable price considering you get a full-size keyboard with a touchpad. When the Magic Keyboard arrives in May with touchpad support, the absurd $300 starting price puts it out of contention for a lot of people. I prefer the feel of the Apple Pencil, although it costs a bit more than the Surface Pen $99, at $129, they're both great to draw with but the Apple Pencil has the advance because you can magnetically attach it to the iPad to charge. There is no doubt that the Surface Pro 7 can deliver laptop-level performance. After all, the Intel Core i5-1035G4 CPU and 8GB of RAM in our review unit are the same components you'd find in a premium notebook. The new iPad Pro runs on an A12Z Bionic SoC, which is essentially the same chip as the A12X in the previous version but with one additional GPU core, dot and it is very powerful than powerful others. There are now two 12-megapixel sensors with wide and ultra-wide lenses, plus a flash. There is also a new key technology, a litter sensor that holds the secret of the Apple glasses and the future of computing itself. On the front, the iPad Pro has a true depth camera for solid biometric authentication and 7MP selfies and FaceTime. The Surface Pro has a puny 5MP front-facing camera and a 8MP camera on the back. There was never a competition to begin with. The battery life of both of these tablets actually took a dip this year. The iPad Pro went from 13 hours and 14 minutes in the 2018 model to 10 hours and 16 minutes on our battery test, which involves continuous web surfing over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. That's a significant decline but the iPad still outlasted the Surface Pro 7, which endured for 7 hours and 52 minutes, a drop from the Surface Pro 6 to 9 hours and 20 minutes. Apple's tablet has a sleeker design, a brighter, more vivid display, and longer battery life than the Surface Pro 7. But that doesn't mean the iPad Pro is the right tablet for you. 
The Surface Pro 7 remains a better laptop alternative to the iPad Pro because of its full Windows 10 operating system. Trackpad support is a great addition but without the ability to run macOS programs, the iPad Pro remains limited to apps in the App Store. Also, the Surface Pro 7 has a much better keyboard and a better selection of ports. The final decision is your and dot you have to decide which tablet will suit for you. Don't miss our everyday updates, keep in touch with us. Subscribe us and press the bell button, thanks for watching, have a nice day.